Hello. Some time ago I already told about the Focus Digital Tonal Converter and Headphones Amplifier by S Audio Systems. It's unusual uh, combo because it's made by audio engineer that is famous in local communities for an anti-audiophiliac approach. So all uh, decisions made in this device are done based on measurements and on the scientific knowledge, not on some uh, modern marketing ideas like let's put a better digital tonal converter or something like that. And uh, basically inside of the Focus Digital Tonal Converter you won't met uh, some high-end uh, DAC chip, you won't met some uh, super fancy uh, uh, parts, but <laughs> Instead of that, uh, he used custom written uh, USB uh, receiver firmware, custom built uh, DSP solution and uh, custom, uh, uh, custom implemented uh, digital tonal converter schema and amplification. And uh, also it features really unusual binaural processor, more on that a bit later. So first Focus was a really interesting device, uh, powerful and natural with cost about $900. And uh, author gathered uh, feedback and actually re uh, released the second version based on, that, on the same ideas, but with improved usability, bit uh, improved sound and actually uh, with uh, half of the price so the price of this one is somewhere about 450 dollars and it's probably unique uh, case in a modern audio world when improved device or second version costs less than previous one and especially uh, in in such a big amount less and uh, also it was achieved by the optimizing the internal schema of course uh, but it wasn't done by cutting the cost or making sound worse it's basically even better in terms of sound but let's uh, talk a bit more about it so what is interesting here it's small device with built-in uh, power supply and uh, also ev everything is custom here starting with uh, USB uh, firmware and ending with the binaural processor. So uh, in short about the binaural processor I did video some time ago about our uh, hearing and how we distinguish left, right, uh, up, down and all other stuff in audio and uh, also I told there what is the problem with headphones audio. In short, uh, many records are mastered to, to be listened via the speakers, not via the headphones and that often cause a flat uh, imaginary stage that is not uh, uh, that doesn't give that out of your head experience, so sound is somewhere in between your ears. And to, uh, to fix that, uh, there are different uh, schemas of uh, cross-feed, of mixing uh, a part of right signal to left channel and vice versa, but here implemented more sophisticated idea that is based on the signal phase and on the frequency, uh, more details are present on the creator's website, link will be in the description. So basically binaural processor here is more advanced, giving you more, better sense of three-dimensional. I will elaborate a bit more on that. Comparing with the previous version, actually now you can uh, change the binaural processor, say, you can turn it on and off separately. And in first version you can select only binaural, regular headphone and line out. And also in the second version there are three levels of gain because this device became uh, much more powerful. Sorry, not became much more powerful, it, it's much more powerful and uh, it was uh, uh, probably too powerful for the sensitive in-ear monitors, so author added here lowest gain settings uh, tailored for the in-air monitor suiting better. And uh, if I'm talking about that, so let's proceed uh, discussing the controls. You can see it's small, it's pretty lightweight, made of aluminium, nice rubber fits, not slippery at all. And 
here is headphones output, just regular 6.3 mm connector, and no balanced output because author uh, says that uh, this amplifier is already uh, way powerful and actually it, it, it's indeed drive uh, tough to drive headphones like planars and high impedance models without much problems. And volume knob. Here used some good potentiometer and also here used custom schema of uh, changing the volume and that gives uh, really good results preserving the dynamic range. Of course uh, it, it rotates smoothly uh, and uh, no uh, static noise when you rotate it, so pretty good volume uh, regulator. And on the back side there is uh, power output. USB in and uh, line out, so left and right, just regular uh, double RCA connectors, and that's it. So as you can see, in terms of build and usability, it's nice. Actually, you can ask where is the power switch, and uh, it uh, powers on and off uh, automatically when it receives the signal via USB, or when when it is disconnected from the USB, it's. Uh, it goes to the sleep mode that is created for this uh, device. I already told you that a lot of stuff is done is implemented here programmatically and uh, that's one of parts of this firmware. Basically you can see design is pretty simple but uh, nice and fancy. In terms of accessory set you will get the power cord but actually what else you will need for the digital to, to analog converter. And of course about the sound, I won't pretend this time that I've built uh, any setup so it's not connected anywhere but of course I spend uh, about a week uh, using this digital to analog converter, testing it and uh, making different experiments. And uh, just for convenience to show some examples I will use Astalon Kern SP2000 just because it's a good player with all my music. And uh, speaking about the sound, actually it's totally natural device without any coloration, without any accents, without any highlights, without any attempts to change anything inside. Basically I think it could be called a uh, wire with a gain. So it's uh, really resolving resolution and neutrality is the main focus of the focus. Uh, pun intended of course. So probably let's uh, proceed step by step with additional remarks. So bass is deep, it goes to the maximum depth, it's really fast with uh, all that tiny nuances and overtones present, so it's crazy, crazily great with real acoustic instruments, it's really good with, uh, I don't know, with acoustic double bass, with uh, fortepiano, with brass uh, instruments that goes to the deep uh, domain, so with all that stuff it's really nice, it's technical, resolving, great texturing and and so on. And if you used to some kind of additional weight, no, it's not the proper model. Of course, you can add some weight and color low frequencies using headphones, but uh, source it itself here is absolutely clean and clear. So maybe it's not uh, the choice for the electronic music, but actually, you know, it's not the correct uh, way of saying that, because you can just get some bass, bass head headphones and this uh, digital tonal converter will drive it to maximum possible level. And uh, as an example for the low frequencies, it's uh, Gustav uh, Sjokvits and Sjokvist, not sure how to read the Scandinavian names, and of course Arne Domnerus, uh, two great musicians that uh, once recorded a uh, set of uh, classic jazz standards uh, in, in some uh, Sweden church, and it's really great uh, example of uh, uh, northern approach to record quality because uh, it's a really audiophilic record when you, when you can close your eyes and just uh, imagine not imagine uh, but feel and hear this uh, uh, this uh, church hall where the, that was recorded basically 
main, main instrument here is the organ and uh, it requires good uh, low frequencies it's not accented of course uh, it's absolutely not bass heavy track and but it requires good resolution and control and this uh, digital tonal converter delivers it uh, really great so mids you can and easily guess it also natural without any coloration focused on the micro contrast so this uh, digital tonal converter uh, requires really good records and it's uh, critical for the quality of record it's not trying to smooth something to hide something to add some emotions to highlight anything no it's basically what is record and you will get with it so, you know, sometimes this approach requires a bit of usage, but at the same time, after you used to that, you will understand what uh, purity means here. And uh, of course, imaginary stage it's uh, really big and spacious in the default uh, position, but uh, turning on this uh, binaural. Uh, processor changes anything you know drastically basically stage became a bit narrower but at the same time you st start getting more depth you will start pre uh, hearing the positioning mo more vertical positioning of course it's still not perfect but you will can get it especially it's fun when you in, in record uh, there is some kind of helicopters passing by for example or with some records with three-dimensional effects like uh, pink floyd likes for example i don't remember which uh, track on the division bell has that uh, steps behind you and i was really scared when i was testing this uh, digital tonal converter because for a second it sounded like someone is walking behind me of course it's still you know a way of tricking your brain it's not uh, real 3d audio and uh, the main issue here that uh, requires some usage is that stage rotates with your head so basically in real world when you turn the head to the left or to the right uh, sound sources should uh, remain in the same place so if you turn uh, uh, head to right your left ear should hear sound lou more loud but uh, in headphones you won't get that so it requires some usage but after usage it will sounding really nicely of course in future we should expect some uh, headphones with motion uh, sensors actually there is uh, odyssey mobius uh, with motion sensors but their implementation of crossfeed is really basic so i'd like to see the collaboration between odyssey and s audio for example and uh, for the mid frequencies i've got actually you know this uh, binaural processor is crazy great uh, with this track for example and for the mid frequencies i've got anti audiophilic record it's uh, epfel duas or once again i'm not sure about the correct pronunciation but it's really unusual group so it's kind of post black metal but with a lot of progressive ideas and actually this album is portraying the world from the dog's perspective so a really unusual thing and as you can imagine it's uh, fast it's heavy with a lot of uh, different effects so it requires really good resolving mids and uh, this uh, digital tonal converter delivers it of course uh, record quality here is not perfect uh, and you will hear that but still you know uh, i prefer more natural devices because i'd like to hear uh, record uh, with more details even if uh, that means more issues with the record and uh, treble here is another strong part because uh, also implemented here custom written uh, digital filter for the digital tonal converter and uh, that uh, is different from the common apodizing filter approach and it preserves uh, treble better and it means that treble is more extended uh, comparing with regular digital to analog converters and also thanks to the linear and absolutely natural uh, frequency response and great resolution it means that uh, treble here is absolutely non-modified it's resolving it's uh, 
uh, really extended with uh, superb attacks and decays with good layering and uh, pretty decent overtone saturation that also plays important role in this uh, in the sensing of this three-dimensional uh, uh, perception and uh, as an example of treble I've got tool descending actually you know tool you've heard this track everyone waited for this album for so many years <laughs> who knows will we see the next one or not yeah. uh, and anyway 2020 isn't over yet so no plans for the future anyway jokes aside uh, of course uh, here you you get a lot of percussion and uh, that means uh, it requires good treble and that uh, digital tonal converter delivers it uh, in a pretty nice and impressive way speaking about the pairings uh, it's pretty universal of course as usual as it common with the uh, with the powerful digital tonal converters suited for the desktop usage it plays better with full-size headphones but with in-ear monitors thanks to the lowest gain it will uh, behave uh, nicely of course super sensitive models like andromeda will be better used with i-fi i image but that's uh, that's actually the uh, gadget that i really recommend to all andromeda users in any way and uh, with full-size headphones it drives anything without problems with maybe few exceptions like abyss and uh, sandara or suswara i don't i always uh, forgetting which one is which actually that one that is power hungry but actually with abyss it's nice just not driving it uh, to 100 percent but still uh, pretty nice amount of power but of course for such uh, tough to drive models it's better to use something even more powerful anyway so probably i need uh, to summarize anything here it's really good device for the audio files who listen for the universal desktop uh, digital tonal converter with headphones amplifier really good price uh, actually i didn't do any a b comparisons because it's just uh, staying aside from the uh, competitors being more natural and more resolving actually there is a digital tonal converter with same idea it's odin's uh, hot dx1 that i tested and i like but actually focus is a bit uh, more resolving and even a bit more technical other digital tonal converters in this price range i've tested they are just um, less uh, focused on the resolution and less having less uh, micro details retrieval lower micro, micro details retrieval level so let's go back to the conclusions if you're looking for something natural and resolving and if you are okay with natural sound because not everyone likes such representation let's face the truth as audio focus uh, second revision could be a really good option for you especially if you need to, to drive some full-size headphones so thank you for listening thank you for your attention and have a nice day